On this video we're taking a look at some betting predictions for the remaining matches, which are happening on Thursday, March 25, 2021. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. So here are my betting suggestions for St. Louis Blues vs Minnesota Wild match. I get why the Blues in plus money looks like it holds some value here but realistically, as well as the Blues have played on the road, St. Louis has regressed overall as of late as they just haven't been able to keep the puck out of the net. Minnesota's on a back-to-back, -back, but the Blues are playing some of their best hockey of the season right now and getting them at this price at home where they've been so good is too good for me to pass on. With that said, it's tough to have a ton of faith in the Blues given their recent struggles. The Wild has been stellar at home this season and they shut the Blues down to get the victory here. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Minnesota Wild minus 135. Minnesota is going to be logging their third game in four nights here, which could take a toll on them. The Wild play stack Paris on the COVID-19 list, which takes a proven commodity out of the lineup. Minnesota has been very good on the defensive end of the ice this season, but they have to be better offensively. St. Louis comes in with six losses in their last eight games, but they do have two days of rest leading into this contest. St. Louis is 11 to five in their last 16 road games and two to six in their last eight games overall, while the over is four to zero in their last four games as a road underdog. Minnesota is 16 to five in their last 21 games as a favorite and six to two in their last eight games overall, while the under is five to zero in their last five games as a home favorite. The road team is five to two in the last seven meetings between these two teams. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 5.5. Now here are my betting suggestions for Florida Panthers vs Chicago Blackhawks match. The Florida Panthers haven't strung losses together all season long, so I'm going to assume they're going to right the ship sooner than later. The Chicago Blackhawks haven't been able to string wins together at all this season, and have lost four of the five meetings against the Panthers this season. The Panthers are still comfortably the better team here and have the offensive firepower to expose what's been a shaky Blackhawks defense. Look for the Panthers to get back on track against Chicago in this one. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Florida Panthers minus 165. The Blackhawks finally bagged a win against the Panthers this year but they nearly let it get away. The Panthers have struggled a bit of late but they are still 4-1 against Chicago this year and Florida has averaged 4.40 GPG against them. That plays well with the fact that the Blackhawks have allowed 4.25 GPG over their last 8 games. Florida will get their offense back on track in this one. Chicago has averaged just 2.38 GPG over their last 8 games and Sergei Bobrovsky is 11-6 with a 2.55 GAA against the Blackhawks in his career. The Panthers are 4-1 in their last 5 Thursday games and 9-4 in their last 13 road games. The Blackhawks are 0-4 in their last 4 games following a win and 1-4 in their last 5 overall. The over is 5-1-1 in Panthers' last 7 road games. The over is 5-2-2 in Blackhawks last 9 overall. The Panthers are 2-8 in the last 10 meetings in Chicago and 4-1 in the last 5 meetings. The favorite is 4-1 in the last 5 meetings. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 5.5. Now here are my betting suggestions for Tampa Bay Lightning vs Dallas Stars match. The Tampa Bay Lightning continue to play elite hockey at both ends of the ice, they're piling up the wins left and right, and they're the fifth most profitable team in the sport despite being big favorites nightly. The Dallas Stars can't get out of their own way, the offense isn't consistent and they're the third last profitable team in the league. You're losing your shirt if backing the Stars long term this season. Tampa Bay has won the last five meetings between these teams and they have won the last six games in Dallas. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Tampa Bay Lightning minus 170. Right now Tampa Bay is playing exceptional hockey. This is not just the best team over the last couple of weeks but is the best team in the NHL. They are getting outstanding goaltending and scoring from several different sources. They are a very difficult team to beat. 
Dallas is struggling right now. They are playing very poorly at home, and do not match up well against the Lightning at all. The injuries are taking their toll, and until this team gets healthy, they are not up to playing a team like Tampa Bay. The Lightning are 36-15 in their last 51 road games and 39-13 in their last 52 overall. The Stars are 0-4 in their last 4 home games and 7-19 in their last 26 overall. The over is 7-3-1 in Lightning last 11 overall. The over is 5-1-2 in Stars last 8 home games. The Lightning are 6-0 in the last 6 meetings in Dallas and 5-0 in the last 5 meetings. The favorite is 5-0 in the last 5 meetings. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 5.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.